got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head, buddy. Sir, we gotta move to the bus. Watch out. Hello students, welcome back to class. I am Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. Here's what's in the news. Shoes, 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 shoes. Trump's first words after the assassination attempt were, let me get my shoes. Let me just get this straight. A man got shot, okay? And the first thing that you think about is the first words that he said, not, hey, are, are, you know, is, is this guy okay? Nothing like that, but what he just said. Are you serious right now? So if you don't know what, what has happened, uh, Trump almost got assassinated. Like he uh, attempted assassination on his life. He got shot. And uh, this lady is crazy. Made a video in no time, by the way. Just made a video. And goofing on the whole thing. Like, wh who in the heck does this? Like, seriously, I, I just need to know that this lady is so insane. <laughs> that's going after everybody that honestly eats... Like, like, like she is literally insane. <laughs> not even worried about if this guy is okay or not. Or <laughs> anything else. Just about what the first words that he said. I mean, this guy got shot. Literally got shot, and apparently he got shot in like the head, like it grazed him or whatever. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me right now. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna watch the video that she uh, put out, and <laughs> we're gonna see how insane this lady really is. But before I start, um, I'm gonna start something new. Um, if you like this, leave a like. Okay, subscribe. Um, subscribe if you like this, and uh, yeah. So let, let's just get into the video. I know I usually do it at the end. But uh, I'm, I'm just going to test something out, you know, and I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, let's get to the video and see what this crazy vegan lady uh, says. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head. It's bloody. So we got to move to the bus. Move to the bus. Let me get my shoes. Okay. Get my shoes down. Get my shoes. Watch out. Hello, students. Welcome back to class. I am Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. Here's what's in the news. Shoes, 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 shoes. Trump's first words after the assassination attempt were, Let me get my shoes. Seriously. Seriously, is this really news? Like, is this really worth talking about? Someone's first words? <laughs> no matter how, how uh, ridiculous or crazy it is, but someone just got shot. <laughs> And you're worried about someone's first words and it not being interesting at all. But this is news. I'm sorry to say it, but uh, this isn't news <laughs> at all. But uh, let, let's digress. Let me get my shoes. Let me get my shoes. And today we're going to be talking about Trump, his first words after being shot. But before we begin, make sure that you press the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you don't miss any follow-up videos about this really interesting topic. No, because it's not interesting one bit. Talking about Trump, his first words after being shot have to do with not national security, not worrying about the fact that the gun shooter is probably still out there and might shoot a whole bunch of other people. No, nope. his first words were about his shoes. He was worried about his shoes. He I don't know. Uh, is it just me or, you know, if I was ever shot, I'm pretty sure those aren't going to be my worries, okay? Like, especially considering the fact that a lot of things is going on. And I'm pretty sure that most of us will say some ridiculous thing. Now, I don't know if we're going to be talking about our shoes. Like, I honestly, I don't know what, what's up with that. I really don't. But I'm pretty sure we're not going to be worrying about all this stuff if we got shot. Especially... If it's in, like, the head area or, or anywhere else, we're, we're not going to be worried about any of that, okay? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure if you, okay, got shot, you would be saying some ridiculous and crazy stuff. <laughs> Especially your, like, first words that's going off. Uh, so I don't know what this whole thing is about, but apparently he says something that, you know, about his shoes and... <laughs> It's being a lapis dog, even though this man got shot. Oh, gosh. He needed to get his shoes. What the hell was up with that? Did Donald Trump take his shoes off before giving a speech? 
in this town in front of all of these people? And if so, why were his shoes off? Shoes, 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 shoes. Trump's first words after the assassination attempt were, let me get my shoes. Were they heels that were so tall that he was like towering over the microphone? Nobody really cares. His shoes could just came off as he got shot. No one knows and who cares? And he needed to find a way to crouch down? Did Donald Trump have sweaty feet and before he gave his speech, he had to take them off in order to air them out? Or maybe there's some sort of fungus there or something? It doesn't make any sense. You know what doesn't make any sense? This whole video, literally this whole video makes no sense at all. And not once in the video did you ask and see, if this man was okay. Like, that's not even in the question at all. That's not even there. Like that you don't even care about. <laughs> but what doesn't make sense is this whole video of you just goofing on a guy that got shot because he said something, okay, about his shoes. Like nobody knows why he needed shoes. Nobody knows and nobody cares. Like all that everyone it cares about it's if he's okay or not. And luckily, luckily he is okay. Okay. He's like, he's recovering very gratefully, but you've got to be kidding me about this whole video. And you thinking that this is a good idea. Yeah. Okay. You, you've officially lost it. Like I thought you lost it before, but this, no, 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 no. This is 10 times. You've literally gone crazy. Unless he's talking about another pair of shoes. Maybe he carries around an extra pair of shoes, like a security blanket or something like that. Everybody thinks it is so cool that after he was shot, that he was able to say to the Secret Service agents there, hold on a second, just a minute. And then he prepared for the photo op. And people are saying, you can't, um, you know, you can't manufacture this type of thing. But this guy has been an actor for years. And now she's goofing on the photo. <laughs> that he took afterwards. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, that whole thing is amazing. I, like, seriously, you're not gonna say that if you're that big and someone tried to assassinate you but fails, you're not gonna do anything like that? Because if you say, no, you are lying. If I was that big and I was up on stage, someone tried to assassinate me and fail, I will be doing that same exact thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you cannot make this stuff up. <laughs> of course he's going to manufacture this type of thing. Of course he knows that the second these bullets have gone off, that this is a photo opportunity. So he made sure to say to his Secret Service agents there, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. I got to make sure that I hold up my fist and make sure that I pose in front of this flag here to make sure that everybody sees how patriotic I am. Meanwhile, at that point, he still doesn't know that the gun shooter is not dead. He doesn't know. And so he's actually putting all of his Secret Service agents in extreme danger. Because if this guy is firing at Trump and there are all of these people, you know, public employees or whatever you call them, I don't know, they are around him. They are still trying to protect him. You are literally ridiculous and insane. How in the heck would you know that Trump, okay, having all these secret agents around him, wouldn't know if the killer is dead or not? Like, you don't even know that. First of all, the killer got, got killed in no time. Like, after all that going on, bam, dead. <laughs> like, in no time. Couldn't even react. And you really think that the Secret Service that's around him didn't let him know, hey, look, uh, I, I got the, the killer dead. Like, he, he's just dead. <laughs> like, you don't actually know what the heck is going on, especially with all of these things going on, period. Like, it, it just happened, okay? Like, nobody expected anything. But now you're mad because he took a second to take a photo op moment <laughs> and also how in the heck do you know that he actually did that for the the picture itself like that you don't even know period like he could just be doing that and then bam a, a photo comes up uh, <laughs> but that was literally the, the greatest thing ever because after he got shot he just like put up his head like yeah 
No one can kill me. What's up? I got assassinated. <laughs> Literally, if he wasn't going to win the race before, he's really going to win the race now. Like, nobody <laughs> is going to mess with him. He's going to be like the man that almost got assassinated, but you know what? Can't, can't be killed, okay? Like, he, he just can't. <laughs> but anyways, uh, in the rest of this thing, he she keeps on talking about goes back to his shoes and then joking about him wearing high heels and all this other crap again with the shoe. I thought the shoe thing was over. Like I, I really did. But uh I guess she had nothing else to talk about but the fact that he said that, you know, to, to grab my shoes. <laughs> she is literally crazy and insane and needs to be off the platform. Like I'm not gonna lie to you. She has been the most awful person ever especially the videos that she's been taking down been uh going out i mean there was one video that was awful it was awful it got taken down luckily it got taken down but holy crap <laughs> but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this and uh yeah i'll see you guys in my next video see ya